articulated the spreaders for the AC75s. Uh, we saw uh, finally how more or less it's, uh, these kind of spreaders are made. We always asked ourselves how did they manage to have a rotating master, which is rotating quite a lot, not only, let's say, uh, taking advantage of the torsional uh, uh, properties of uh, the mast itself with uh, some, uh, some spreaders. So they can rotate but uh, have, uh, have a spreader. Uh, I think the AC75 is now the, the only boat, uh, as far as I know, which has the shrouds uh, fixed to the, to the boat itself uh, and uh, uh, spreaders and uh, rotating some other boats you have uh, like a rotating platform so it's uh, it, everything uh, rotates so it's uh, it's easy to maintain uh, the, the shroud uh, tension while here it's uh, very difficult because you have two fixed uh, points at the bottom uh, while uh, everything else is uh, moving it's uh, not so easy to uh, study a spreader that can follow this kind of movement uh, also because uh, at the top uh, the, the shrouds are fixed uh, not in one point, so they are also rotating when the mast is, uh, is rotating. So the tendency is to have uh, the, uh, the shroud upwind, which is uh, looser, and uh, the shroud downwind, which is uh, tighter. So when, uh, when you turn the mast, while uh, to, to achieve uh, uh, the, the same tension uh, you, uh, you were having with yeah. something keeps the tension uh, uh, even while rotating. Exactly, exactly. So um, basically, uh, when uh, when the mast rotates, uh, whether you reach the point when, where your shrouds are rotating in the same uh, axis of rotation, uh, but this way you would uh, need to have, let's say, a, a round mast and uh, a kind of uh, big rotation, uh, big uh, ring, let's say, rotating which is uh, actually not feasible, uh, or as uh, they did with the AC75, you have the spreader with, uh, with a point of rotation which is external to the surface of the mast, so it's not the same point of rotation as the, as the mast itself, uh, but uh, you compensate with uh, another uh, rotation of another point uh, um, with uh, with also a translation, so at the end you can keep the tension and probably also uh, they can manage to adjust the tension, so probably uh, they are able to put the, let's say, windward uh, shrouds uh, as forward uh, as possible to compensate and to keep the mast uh, upright, uh, so not falling down, not falling uh, too weather, uh, but probably also with uh, some uh, Negative uh, <laughs> feel. We know the mast is placed on a ball, uh, so it's not uh, only rotating in his uh, axis of rotation, but can also rotate windward and leeward, so uh, transversely. So actually, it's possible that they can uh, put the spreader uh, much forward and uh, try to have the mast, uh, let's say, less healed than, than the boat. Uh, this is not easy to achieve, but uh, actually with uh, probably some uh, active mechanism and, uh, and some passive, uh, let's say, guides uh, to, uh, to make this movement uh, be exactly precise, they can achieve uh, easily to maintain the correct uh, tension on each shroud. So the, the elements of this uh, system are a boomerang in front, as you can see, and, uh, uh, and the, the, the actual spreaders are made up of uh, a bar which is fixed to the side of the mast, the middle of the side of the mast, with another, another ball system. So they basically can move uh, in uh, whatever direction uh, they, they, they like. So, so in the end we can, uh, we can think about the movement up and down, uh, uh, apart from the one that is uh, Guaranteed uh, that is, uh, let's say, forward aft, obviously, uh, following the rotation of the mast. Exactly. So, uh, this is a very interesting uh, mechanism, uh, also because it's uh, something that I think can be uh, transported to, to other boats and uh, we can expect uh, to, to see in the future.
future some normal so, bot with a rotating mask and uh, and spray this. In this case, will be passive for sure, not active, but uh, active yeah. uh, takes uh, much more technology and cost. But uh, as a passive one, uh, you can uh, you can study, as you said, uh, some kind of elliptical movement that can follow the, the rotation of the mast, which can uh, can achieve the, more or less the same tension all uh, all across the rotation. Exactly. So uh, it's for sure in some ways uh, feasible. So. I, I think we will see something like this in the future. Exactly. That's for uh, Luna Rossa. We will see the other teams, what they studied, because uh, this kind of uh, part is uh, free of uh, conception. Exactly. So just a tube has to be one design, but this movement is uh, custom, completely custom. Exactly. Okay. Ciao. Have a good day. Ciao, ciao.